Hmm, how should I start my intro? Hey, thank you for tuning in. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like. No, I don't want to do it like that. I want to, I think I always do it like that. I don't know. What about, hey, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to get right into how to fix any electric scooter. So you've been, damn, thinking about it too hard. Hey, let's just go ahead and get right into it. How to fix this electric scooter over here. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, come on with me. Let me show you something what I found out. Woo-wee, the electric scooter 2020. All brand, not new. But when you come down here, you hit the switch. You see the light comes on, on, off, on, off, or off and on. Whichever one it is, but the light is on. But we all know these electric scooters, this type, you have to give it a boost. So as we get on it, this is the knob to turn and you go. So get on it, let's go here. Hit the knob. And it don't do nothing, right? I know you guys are like, just been throwing the scooters away because they've been having issues. And a person like me see it like, hmm, that's a save buck. So anyways, let's get right into it. So as you see, I already took one of the screws back out after going back in and fixing it. So I'm gonna take you on a journey with me. Come on, let's go ahead and finish taking these screws out so I can show you what I found. Now that I've taken all six screws out of it, so let's go right here and remove this cover. Take the cover up. Boom, look under that hood right there. All right, so this is the issue that I was having with this Razor scooter. Now, I don't know why they didn't think of something smarter, but every time you would turn your handlebars, every time you would turn the handlebars, look at here, this wire would move. Let me try to see if I can turn it at the same time. This wire would move, but I've pulled it back, so every time you turn the handlebars, the wire moved. So by the wire moving, this right here came out of the socket. Which, see how easy that, it's easy to remove? Turn the handlebars, move that wire there. So what I did is I pulled it out more from the inside down in there. I pulled that loose more, so now, so now let's plug it back up. This wire right here is the remote for your switch down here for the, re for the reset. Without that reset, you can't bypass it to turn it on. So you need that reset button because it has, has a negative and a positive, which controls the control base. So let's plug this wire back in. It's hard doing it one hand, but there we go. Got the wire plug back in. Before putting the screws back in, I like any other electronic, I used to test it out before. Turn the power back on there. So we're not gonna go too fast because we're in a small area, but. Whoa, and there you go. And that's it, pretty much once you put those back in, your electric scooter start back working because of your reset button. All right, so you already know. With that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm your truly cash. Until next time, go get that electric scooter going. 